Hello there everybody. I just thought I'd make a quick video. I just pulled some rocks out of the tumbler and I'd like to share them all with you. See what you think. Alright, let's check them out. Alright, so we have two different batches. The ones in the front here are from the Lortone 45C. And the ones in the back there are from the Thumbler's AR1 tumbler. It's from a 3 pound barrel and a 4 pound barrel. So real quick, um, it turned out pretty good, but this piece here um, has a couple imperfections. I don't know what happened, but um, obviously something softer in there came free and kind of damaged this one and this one up a little bit. So I don't know if I'm going to repolish it or, or what, but... It's got a nice shine to it. Other than that little imperfection, it's pretty nice. Got some Carly's Ridge agates that I got from Lil Bond. Turned out pretty decent. Uh, this piece of Montana agate same thing, had a couple divots in it. It's really the only few rocks that were affected. So, I'll probably retumble that one again. You can see it's got a really nice shine, despite the, the little imperfections there. piece of Montana agate. Well, every once in a while, some of this stuff gets this gets this white on there, and <laughs> it does not come off. But it doesn't bother me. I think it's still pretty cool. Definitely really pretty. Got this awesome piece of carnelian. Tumble some of that up. These ones turned out pretty decent. This is some stuff from, from Utah. It's got this uh, softer and greenish stuff in there. It takes a little while to, to tumble it and have to let it go for quite a while in the first step, but after that, it's not too bad. Got this piece of carnelian here. I'm probably going to turn into a necklace, maybe wrap it with some wire or something and to my fiance. It's pretty. Got this really nice piece of Lake Superior agate. There's no way I was going to get all these out. So I just, you know, let it run for a couple weeks. I'm happy with it. Got this piece of uh, Montana agate that I sliced from another piece. Oh, I'm not going to drop it and break it. Another piece of Montana agate. See, this one's a lot darker than some of the other ones. You know, some of them are more yellow and some of them are 
the more white and blue. But I think they're all pretty cool. There's another Lake Superior Agate. Another Lake Superior Agate. It's real pretty. I like that one a lot. Some more Crowleys. Not all of them look like they were going to do very well tumbling so I picked out the best ones that I thought would hold up and give me the best results got some banded jasper in there this is more of that stuff from Utah this is mostly just the red without the gray and the purple real pretty red just gorgeous this looks like a piece of candy or something. This is some um, galaxy stone that I got up in Michigan. It might actually be Michigan green stone there. The chlorostorolite. Um, might actually be some zeolite in there. It's hard to say. Turned out pretty well. Wasn't sure how I was going to do. Um, there's another piece of it. It was a really funky looking piece, so I cut it into a few different pieces. And just decided to throw it in a tumbler just to, just to see what would happen. See, it took a nice shine. This time, um, I used the Micro Lumina versus the cerium oxide. The cerium oxide can just be a, a pain to clean up. It, if you get that spill that it's has a tendency to stain. This is one of them that I found on Lake Michigan here, so that was really cool. Let's take a look at some more of the ones that I found in Lake Michigan here. This one almost looks like it could be a fossil of some sort. I'm not really sure what would cause all those little bubbles and holes like that unless it was some type of sponge or something, but coral, I don't know. But it turned out awesome. Really happy with that one. Some more of it here. It's got the blue, the black, the white, the gold colors to it. Really nice stuff. Some of it, you know, is it's got some softer stuff in there, but all in all, it tumbles tumbles pretty well. Some of them end up being flawless. Some of them have a little minor imperfections, but it doesn't take much to tumble it. Usually. It's fine after the first first step because it's been rolling around at the beach for so long it's already got a leg up on a lot of the other rocks that I find. Some real nice banded shirt. The stromatoporid silicified. Had a viewer ask me if I ever tumble any fossils and these ones I usually do these um, fossilized sponges seem to do pretty well a lot of people confuse these as being agates but or agatized I guess that you know 
but I like to say they're psilocyphies, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna argue with anyone. Pretty cool though. Another cool piece of shirt that I found. I think this one here, Will Bond gave me also. This one turned out really cool. I'm happy with that. I found this piece not too long ago. I don't know if this is sandstone, but that is really cool looking. Oh, this one's really cool. Um, pretty sure that's prenite. Don't find very much of that. It's really rare to find around here. But man, is that stuff gorgeous. It takes a real nice shine. I don't know if this is rhyolite. But yeah, really cool. I love this one. Another piece of quartz with uh, some hematite in there. This one I threw in there, it had some some pink crystal on there and it just got destroyed after the first step. I was really kind of disappointed about that. I had no idea what it was, but well, I guess I'll never know. I thought maybe it was pink pre-night, but if it was pre-night it would have would have held up. So yeah, we got a nice, nice little batch of, of rocks here. They all did pretty well, except for those couple over there. All right, so now let's check out the other ones. These ones are some orbicular jasper that I had purchased online. And there's nowhere to find this stuff anywhere near me but uh, this actually tumbled up pretty well a lot of the stuff that I get online that quote unquote is Jasper it's not really Jasper I think a lot of times people don't know what it is they just oh it's Jasper like Bumblebee Jasper it's not Jasper and you go to tumble it it's very soft and it won't do very well at all and some of this Unikite I have found, and some of it comes from Africa, allegedly. <laughs> um, some of it is very low grade. Um, a lot of times when you get stuff online, buy on Amazon, these some of these companies are, you know. Aren't really the most, um, I don't know, favorable, accurate. I think they'll just tell you anything to, to sell you some rocks. Oh, this, this rock has magical powers. It brings love and peace and happiness and blah, blah, blah. It sounds cool to some people, but, oh, it shines up. It makes a nice shine. And <laughs> you throw it in your tumbler and like, man, this stuff... Half the time it's not even what they say it is. And sometimes it is. There's a place I order most of my rocks from out of Michigan that I've never had a problem with, but so half the time you get stuff on Amazon and you're not very rep reputable. I guess that's the word I was looking for. And some of them I had to pull out because they were, they had some green in them, but after a while all that was left was just this pink granite looking stuff. Really soft and was breaking apart and 
It's very disappointed. And some of them turned out okay, but a lot of them not so much. But yeah, all this orbicular jasper turned out really well. Really happy with those. This one I'm super happy with. This one is one that I found. Just a gorgeous piece of unikite. focusing too well. I'm sorry about that. And I also got this one I had found. This one's really cool because it looks like granite on this side. And granite metamorphs into unikite like this here. So it's cool. Like It's like half granite, half unikite. That's really awesome. Got lucky when I found that one. Fortunately, I saw it looking like this, so I picked it up. Had it just looked like that, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. Mm. This stuff I had ordered online, and um, I got one piece I'll show in my next video. It's actually got some blue petroidal cassette in it. Just a, I was really surprised that, that they threw that piece in there. I was lucky. It's like one of the coolest pieces of Jasper I'd ever found. And I worked it and polished it and shaped it. and So I'm excited to share that in one of my upcoming videos. So I'll look forward to that one. Little pretty epidote. This is one that I had found. Kind of looks like it has some mossy, swirly colors in there. A piece of epidote that I found. The unikite action. Mostly epidote. This one's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know if I'd call that unikite or not. I wouldn't say so. Pretty neat though. It's really the only one like it. This one I guess is kind of similar. But I mean I guess maybe they could be the same rock. So yeah, all in all this patch turned out pretty well. I said there was some some unikite in there that it was really low grade stuff that I had to pull out because it was just falling apart and I didn't want it to ruin the rest of the rock so yeah I actually ran these uh, pulled them out and I ran them on another step just to, just to make sure that they'd be alright so I think they turned out really well everything looks nice let me know which one you guys think are your favorite appreciate you watching until next time, everybody, take care and rock on.